magnets are perfect when you really need to focus magnetism to a tiny point. I've had a lot of experimenters, researchers, and hobbyists and so forth that like the concept of the super tiny point and frequently it's really hard for me to tell with my gauss meter because my gauss meter the uh, probe tip is larger than the diameter of the tip of this right at the tip but it'll read 7,000, 6,000, 7,000 and then when you get to the one inch one's like 7,500 gauss even on the part that it's able to read but keep in mind it's averaging in some of the air around it which is also getting the flux but it's not exactly what you're getting at exactly the tip of this cone. We also can get cones made up to two inches in size and we have made them larger. However, keep in mind that it's approximately a one inch cone and then you look at a two inch cone. A two inch cone is, even though it just sounds like you doubled it, it is actually almost seven times as much magnetic material in a two inch cone as there is in a one inch cone. And the same would go with a half inch cone to a one inch cone. This is about seven times the size of this one, which means it's going to cost over seven times as much. Also, it's very difficult for the manufacturer to make this conic shape like this tapered to a point. And so I've had them doing this for me for a long time. And sometimes we run out like this, uh, and, uh, you know, when the prices go really high, we won't stock up because the price quotes we get on these are astronomical. And so we wait until the price comes back down so we can get a good price on them. But we have some of these in stock, and you always want to notice the, the particular polarity. Do you want the North Pole at the top, or do you want the South Pole at the tip? And some of the uses that people have had for these, and, and one that I've always been fascinated with, is they were researching using these in targeting chemotherapy. They found that they could attach some of the chemotherapy uh, medicine to a protein molecule that would actually release the medicine in the presence of an intense magnetic field. And so they were working on the concept that maybe if they could create a, that, that molecule just right, that they could use a cone magnet on the outside and more precisely target chemotherapy, which I think would just be wonderful for those people suffering with cancer and so forth. So this is just our cone magnets. We can get other sizes, but we would have to get a quote for those. So we keep these ones and halves in stock, and we've had the twos on several occasions when the prices are right. So I hope this helps you understand a little bit better about what the cone magnet does.